look at him like this before me. Some pizza. So it sounds like we're being tested on some sounds. And also keep in mind that um, whistling, high-pitched whistle, because I get a pretty severe case of what's called tinnitus. And I have another hearing ailment called hyperacusis. Anyways, there's certain tones that can get around those. a little easier, or maybe a lot easier than the average person, but only with a certain tones, not, in some cases it works because of the hyperacusis maybe, because it's an out amplification of sound from my head, from my hearing, not from my head, but from my hearing. So the noises that are all around us can trigger a certain amount of amplification. It's not the same as volume. So I've got benefits and I've got not so helpful things. One of my videos that I'm putting up probably tomorrow, after this video tonight here, this one will be mixed in, maybe amongst them. But anyways, um, it's just going to be a short one. And it has bird in the title. And it's because when, it when I was on video, listening, real sharply listening, having it right in my ear, I could hear some birds. So then I was like, hmm, that's some pretty awesome bird. That's songbird, Dad. And that's 9.30 at night and stuff, so... that happened a few seconds back could be because keep in mind where I am it's very difficult for the car lights to shine here and also for the noise actually to get up even in here or like a click that just happened close by on the left up here and more and stuff maybe mixing in with my talking and stuff and that's part of what they realize I don't hear very well I stay and I watch for bats because there's some information that I'm seeking in the nighttime through you know, skyworks. 
So watching for the bats is very helpful for helping with my illusion. Hopefully it's a good night for bats. Last night was really well. Good. Sometimes I do a little bit of a listen to see if I can attract them, whether it's fictional or not. I don't know. Let me try it. called this lake. When I was a kid, we used to always do that. And it's probably because it was a heavy bat population, but we were told to do that, or we figured it out or something. But anyways, we used to do the rocks a lot, trick the bats, not throwing the rocks to try to hurt them. You know, he's just lobbing them. Because you want to keep them kind of close so you can see the bat when he swoops for them. that I'm noticing from just being here amongst the video and stuff is big. To you, there might be some indications in some ways, but to me, it's a full indication, another full night fully around me. There we go. Let me try to get this way now. Yeah, it looks like it's going to show up. I'm getting it. realizing I'm using the wrong side of this camera, but that's okay. It's just a little, uh, it's a little, it's going to be a little hazier than what sh it should be reflecting for you right now, so I think we're going to, now that I'm realizing that, I'm going to call her an end of it, and maybe I'll switch it around to this other side, the other lens. Also, maybe realizing that that hooting that's going on has changed locations. Cheerios from the Din Man.